Slow travelling is one of the most rewarding human experiences. It is the complete opposite of drive-by travel, as it advocates for toning down and appreciating the world in all its glory. It could be trying local cuisine, connecting with the local people, or even smelling the roses. Unfortunately, the strenuous pace that we sometimes set in the hopes of visiting multiple destinations can be overwhelming at the very least, and disappointing at best. In this video, we have compiled 5 best slow travel destinations in Europe from a city with the highest number of vineyards in any metropolis in the world, which is also the true birthplace of croissants, you will be surprised to learn that it's not in France. To the home of the oldest zoo in the world, you won't visit these places and come back feeling like you need a vacation from your vacation. Sit tight and let the adventure begin! Venice, Italy. Located in northeastern Italy, Venice is also the capital of the Veneto region and it's built on more than 100 small islands in a lagoon in the Adriatic Sea. It may have 150 canals, 400 footbridges and wide modern roads. But did you know it is also home to one of the narrowest streets in the world, known as Calle Verisco. It is located not far from the Fondamenta Nova and it measures a mere 53 centimeters or 20 inches across. But don't let the not so grandeur appearance of Calais Verisco deceive you. Venice and its mainland are a darling to many tourists, all thanks to the rich historical museums and archaeological buildings of great cultural and artistic importance. Here you can visit the multiple museums, churches, villas and palaces, Venice Historic Centre, Murano and Burano Islands and the less known Venice Lagoon. Whether your Venice sightseeing itinerary is on a tight schedule or not, visiting Piazza Ferretto is a chance you don't want to miss. Dubbed the heart of the city, it is packed with bars, hotels, cinemas and theatres where you can try local cuisines in an outdoor setting at the Hotel Alvivite or visit the historic Cinema Excelsior. Paris, France Located in the north-central part of France, along the Seine River, it is at the centre of the Ile-de-France region. Paris, the capital city of France, is a city of many firsts. It was the first city in the world to install streetlights, hence the nickname the City of Lights, as well as the only city that doesn't have stop signs on its roads. As if to emulate this stop-free nature of the city, over one million tourists flock to Paris annually for a glimpse of the multiple historical and cultural sites. Your love affair with Paris begins at the Eiffel Tower, which is easily the most recognisable landmark in the city's landscape. Designed by Alexandre Gustave Eiffel for the Paris Exhibition of 1889, this iconic structure towers 324 metres, giving you an obstructed view of the surrounding romantic landscaping and city landscape. Inside the tower, you'll also find a gift shop, cafeteria, brasserie restaurant and public restrooms. Another see site in Paris is the Louvre Museum. Once the home of France's kings, the museum is home to thousands of paintings and artworks, with the most notable ones being the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci and the infamous Venus de Milo sculpture. The sightseeing in Paris does not end with the Louvre Museum. In the heart of Paris, on the Ile de la Cité, in the Latin Quarter, is the Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris, commissioned in 1163 by King Louis IX. This Gothic style cathedral features an ornately decorated facade and a profusion of sculptures, which creates a memorable and breathtaking impression. Opposite the Louvre Museum is the Palais Royal, a welcome retreat for tourists amid the bustle of Paris's first arrondissement. Celebrating classical French architecture, this village within a city comprises 60 pavilions surrounded by a lovely garden and courtyard, making it an excellent place to unwind and reconnect with nature. If you are a food lover, your trip to Paris would be incomplete without trying a Paris dinner cruise down the Seine River. Here, you'll go past many of the city's famed monuments while enjoying a la carte dinner and sipping a glass of wine.
London, England. London is situated in southeastern England, lying astride the River Thames, some 50 miles 80 kilometers upstream from its estuary on the North Sea. But did you know that London, just like many other cities, has its own superstition? Yes. Legend has it that the cities and kingdoms' existence relies upon the continued residence of at least six ravens in the Tower of London. For extra measures, the ravens have a clipped wing and they even have a standby raven in case one flies away. Unlike the ravens, however, a single tourist flying out of London is immediately replaced by millions of others, all thanks to the impressive tourist attractions and captivating things to do in the city. Right off the bat, nothing screams London more empathetically than the iconic Buckingham Palace. Here you'll get to experience London's most popular display of pomp and precision marching at the changing of the Royal Guard every day at 11.30am. 20 minutes away from Buckingham Palace is the magnificent Tower of London. From prison to palace, private zoo to treasure vault and even home to the Six Ravens, this World Heritage Site has fulfilled many different roles over the centuries. Today this massive white tower is a cultural museum and a learning point where the public can marvel at the remarkable displays of the 17th century line of kings, royal armament and armour. After visiting the tower, don't forget to swing by the British Museum, home to a fine collection of antiquities and over 13 million artefacts from the ancient world. The most famous exhibit at the museum include the Rosetta Stone, the Egyptian mummies, the colossal bust of Ramses II and the controversial Elgin marbles from the Parthenon. Another showstopper in London is the 318 feet tower housing the giant Big Ben clock. If you are a fan of the BBC news outlet, you may have intermittently seen Big Ben as it is the channel's time signal. Below the clock is the River Thames and Britain's Houses of Parliament, where you can attend real-time debates and lively political discussions. After a long day of sightseeing, you can unwind at London's Hyde Park or even take a guided London walk tour following in the steps of Jack the Ripper. Florence, Italy. Located in central Italy, this lovely city is the capital of Firenze province and Tuscany region and is about 145 miles 230 kilometers northwest of Rome. Renowned for being the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance and home to one third of all the important art masterpieces in the world. This coupled with historical museums, squares, churches and landmarks make it a great open air museum for tourists who love of history and culture. Whilst it's almost impossible to cover everything in a single visit, one of the architectural masterpieces and the pride of the Florentine skyline is the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. Popularly known as the Duomo by the locals, it is the third largest church in the world and home to popular art masterpieces and architecture by popular Italian Renaissance artists, including Ghiberti, Donatello, Giotto, Brunelleschi and Michelangelo. Among the most popular art pieces in the cathedral include The Last Judgment by Giorgio Vasari, which was completed in 1579, as well as the tomb of Brunelleschi. Another obligatory stop when visiting Florence is the Galleria dell'Accademia, along with housing Michelangelo's best-known work, David. It is also home to the Madonna and the unfinished Four Slaves and St. Matthew sculptures, making it the ultimate location for art lovers. A 10-minute drive from the Galleria dell'Accademia is Uffizi Palace and Gallery. Considered one of the world's top art museums, it is home to a staggering art collection. Walk down the memory lane to understand firsthand how Florence's 14th and 16th century artists changed the face of Western art and get inspired while at it. Visiting Piazzale Michelangelo is another experience that you don't want to miss. This terrace towering above the city gives you a sweeping city view encompassing the Palazzo Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio, Santa Croce and other landmarks within the city. It is also an excellent place to unwind in the evening under the unmatched sunset view. As you delight in Florence's giant open air museum sites, take time to meet the locals as they engage in their daily routines. And there's no better place to do this than in the enormous Mercato Centrale food market. Here you can try the local cuisines as well as purchase authentic Italian crafts and spices to bring back home. 
Vienna, Austria. The country's capital lies in the northeastern corner of Austria, between the foothills of the Alps and the Danube. Europe's second longest river, delicious food, premium wines, and teams of cultural and historical landmarks, all these describe Vienna, the capital city of Austria. But did you know that Vienna City is the birthplace of croissants? Legend has it, Viennese bakers created the croissant to symbolize the victory against the advancing Turkish forces during a 1683 invasion. Still, Vienna is one of the liveliest cities in Europe hosting a mind-bending 450 plus carnivals every first month of the year. If you're a party goer, those are 15 balls per night. Festivities aside, Vienna is one of the most popular slow travel destinations in the world. Thanks to its charm and rich history, it was once the administrative center of the Habsburg Empire, an important cultural and commercial hub to this day. The spectacular Schönbraun Palace is one of the most popular tourist spots in the city. Constructed in the 18th century, it boasts magnificent architecture and a beautiful park life setting, making it the ultimate spot to lay down everything and reconnect with yourself. The palace's tour includes a visit to the Imperial Apartments where Emperor Franz Joseph died and UNESCO's listed Shun Brown Park and Gardens. Remember the zoo we mentioned at the beginning of the video? It is located within the Shun Brown Palace, established in 1752. It is the oldest zoo in the world and today it houses 700 plus different animal species including giant pandas. Thanks to zoo's celebration of baroque architecture, it is also considered the most beautiful zoo in the world. Once done touring the zoo, you can take your little ones to the Prater Natural Park for a ride on the world's oldest giant ferris wheel. 15 minutes from the Schönbraun Palace is the Hofburg, easily the most historically significant palace in Vienna. It was the official residence of Austrian rulers since 1275, and it continues to showcase the country's different eras and historical events. If you are an art lover, your trip would be incomplete if you missed Vienna's Kunsthistorisches Museum, housed inside are magnificent art collections of the Habsburg royal family, including the infamous Tower of Babel by Peter Bruegel. If it is happy highs that you are after, then you're in luck, as no other city in the world has more vineyards within its limit than Vienna. There are over 600 wine producers within the city, that's one wine producer per 2,500 persons, working 700 hectares of beautiful urban vineyards. And it is no surprise that Vienna is christened the Wine City. Enjoy a Vienna walking tour to the multiple wineries or even handmade centuries old recipes at the famous Demel Cafe. Other notable mentions include the brightly coloured Hundert Wasserhaus apartment block, the Donner Fountain, Albertina Museum and the Vienna State Opera House. Which of these places did you like the most? Have you ever visited any of them? What was your experience? Comment in the comment section below and we will be happy to sample them.